members have gathered for the raising of the progress flag at the third annual Pride in Irvine Day. The Orange County Gay Men's Chorus, Men Alive, is the featured entertainment. We provide a creative outlet, we provide a uh, family, and we provide solid entertainment, sometimes with a message. Like the Pride movement itself, the chorus has dealt with adversity over the years. Back in the year 2000, we chose Men Alive because the word gay was not in it. Because nobody would sing with us and nobody would actually come and hear us. Today their fan base is stronger than ever, but they still get pushback like at a recent sporting event. We sang the national anthem. Uh, you wouldn't believe the hateful comments that we get on social media when we do things like that, but we do it all the time. And our, just our presence is really what it's about. This group has a chance to really be a part of the Orange County community and show the world that Orange County is welcoming to the LGBTQIA community. The city plans this event in timing with Harvey Milk Day, which commemorates the birthday of California's first openly gay politician. In 1978, Milk was shot and killed by a colleague. His death led to an outcry for acceptance and equality. Milk was involved with the design of the first striped rainbow flag. Then in 2018, an updated progress flag became a symbol of even greater diversity. I'm just really checking it out. I'm excited Irvine's doing this. Um, I want to see the flag raised uh, on the city complex and uh, just, yeah, enjoying the day. Seth Brooks says the journey to discover her identity started back in the seventh grade. I finally figured out who I am. I am pansexual and I am gender fluid, so you can call me any pronouns. <laughs> he, she, they, it, I don't care. <laughs> Others are still finding their way. So this day is also about connecting with a lot of great services. And the booths that you see here are organizations and resources that are available to everyone. Um, and we wanna make sure that connectivity uh, between the community and the resources is there and that we continue to celebrate one another, that we continue to build on the community that we have here today. It's really important because especially as our young people are um, coming of age, they often face some really difficult hurdles with their mental health if they are LGBTQIA+. And so it is important to provide resources that they may need. A lot of us were very active in the fight against the passage of Prop 8 back in 2008. The Orange County Equality Coalition first fought for marriage rights, but over the years, they've continued to broaden their mission. You know, it's like whack-a-mole to a certain extent, because once you've kind of conquered one area of discrimination, another one will pop up. I mean, it's, it's true in many of the social justice issues we face today. Joshua Vecchioni is a Mission Viejo City Commissioner who's here to get some ideas. His city has their own Pride event planned for later this month. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have as much support as you have here you can see in the city of Irvine. So I wanted to come by and just thank some of your city council members are here, the fire department, police department for being here and supporting this Pride event. For ICTV, this is Valerie Starn reporting.